Blessed of Massive, this is Peter. Yeah, man, and this is Grams. And right now you're locked into Carrie Fest TV. Yeah, See? Man. It's hard to keep it locked, and I will say that. Mark and Heritage. Heritage. Boom! Rockers. I'm rocking right now. I'm feeling the vibes. I'm feeling the energy. Morgan Heritage is here in Houston, Texas, giving the people what they want. If you don't believe me, take a look around at the crowd and join the vibe. Now, if you want to hear more from the Grammy Award winner, Morgan Heritage, guess what? Stay tuned for more interviews with the Grammy Award winner, Morgan Heritage. Somebody say yeah, yeah. Say yeah, yeah. yeah. inside of the 2016 Grammy Award winning Morgan Heritage Show. And standing with me, we have Ross Attitude, who opened up the show for Morgan Heritage. He set the standards, set the stage. Ross, how you feeling right now? I'm feeling good, man. I'm giving thanks and praise for life, you know? It's a, you know, it's a, it's a gracious event. Check it out. It's a good vibes, you know what I mean? I don't know how I get footage and the vibe is royal, you know? Yeah, man. Now, when you was performing, I saw how the crowd was rocking and vibing to your sound, yeah. your distinguished voice. Yes, I know you have like two albums coming out. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about those two albums. Yeah, well, one of them named Warrior Status. We've been working on it for a while and right. certain things, you know, certain obstacles get in the way because there's a thing called life, you know. Right. So we had to, you know, some setbacks, so we had to kick it back for a little while. So now we're getting ready to push it. Um, we're getting ready to put it on the road. Then we have another one called Chant. We did the EP for that Pleasant in the Presence. Okay. You know, okay. so. I like that title. Yeah. Pleasant in the Presence. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. That. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You know, so. That's what we're coming out with. We've been working right. hard. We're de dealing with the Boondocks, the black organization of noble diplomats optimizing expressions. What? Yeah, you know, so we, okay. we're dealing with that. And, you know, it's, it's just a, a family of artists, sounds, okay. you know. Um, we have the video company, you know, okay. Boondocks Ijaw Films. So we've been pushing that. And, and you know, it's a whole vibe. We got a big up Apostle, Rafael Jaciano, you know, big up Carrie Kill, you know, right. Jabami, right. you know, boom, boom, that's all over, you know. Now, Alison, since you've been here, you, you've been bringing a lot of big, full band reggae shows. You brought Taurus Riley. Now you have Morgan Heritage. And I know a lot of people think that you are actually a new promoter, but you've been doing this from ever since back home in the VI. You've been promoting shows. And I heard you brought Shaba to the VI for the very first time, right? Yeah. So tell me, what's your inspiration to actually bring full bands, not just the lead singer, but a full band? Well, I think I think reggae music ain't reggae music unless you get it live. You more get the feeling of the music or right. the live band than just listening to a DJ sound. Right. You know? And that's the way I go. So tell me, what do you have planned next? I know you have some many, many more shows that's actually lined up. And I know you probably want to be a little hush hush about it, but I think that would be a good time to, you know, spill the beans on who you're bringing next. Uh, <laughs> got my eyes on Chronics. Really? Yeah. Definitely. So you're, he's actually going to be here with the full band. Everything I do is with a full band. And that is why tonight you guys have seen and witnessed the massive amount of people who came up early, nine o'clock, early to come out to support because there's a full band. You get a full show. You don't get five minutes, you get a full show. How does it feel to now have the title Grammy Award winner? Not saying that Morgan Heritage, you know, we know you guys True. come with a lot of weight. You have a massive catalog of music that you guys do, but how does it feel to now have the title Grammy Award winning Morgan Heritage? It's a blessing and it's humbling. Mm -hmm. You know, it makes you appreciate what you've been doing over the years. Right. Makes you appreciate the fans. You know, and it, it, it just motivates you to want to do more, you know, okay. but it's very humbling and it's a blessing. And it definitely is. So, Gramps, yes. tell me about your experience and what you've been feeling since you won. Well, it's the same thing. It's humbling, you know, uh -huh. because throughout the years, we put out music year after year and try to keep the quality and the standard 
to represent the Caribbean well, on our media channel. Well, you don't try to keep it. You keep yes. the quality. Yes. Good reggae music. Yeah, well, we make sure. Sometimes <laughs> we're in the, in the laboratory uh -huh. and, and, and cooking up, but we do our best. But right. the fans is who determine, you know, what is what. And it's been working so far, so we're very thankful. And it, it got to a point where we are now um, being, you know, acknowledged by a, such an prestigious academy right, to even definitely. recognize music as not mm -hmm. everybody recognize reggae music so we have to big up the grammy board to even recognize our definitely. genre of music. because you guys actually had a stiff a stiff competition you had yes. jackie or luciano yes. and all these other people that's actually representing reggae yes. but for you guys to come up victorious i was like yes morgan yeah. heritage yeah. so i know you guys are actually on tour mm -hmm. promoting your new reggae album strictly, strictly roots Root, strictly roots so tell me what is different about this album compared to everything else that you guys have done. Well, one of the biggest things is that um, it's our own label, Cool To Be Conscious Music Group, and we produced um, the album, put it out ourselves, um, went to the FedEx ourselves, you know, mailed it out to the DJs ourselves. Right. And so it, it's, a, it's a very um, humbling experience because the first album we put out independently uh -huh. of any major record label or independent label, we won a Grammy Definitely. to be recognized. So it just shows the experience over the years. And and I think it's some of our best work today that after taking our five years, mm -hmm. um, doing solo projects and working with different artists and we've all grown as individuals. Definitely. Now you can feel that in this Definitely. album. And I'm so glad you actually mentioned like you guys are doing um, individual projects. Mm -hmm. I know that you have mm -hmm. like a vitamin line oh, yes. that's coming yes. out or that's already out. That's already out, Jamaican oh. Pride. Okay, so tell us a little bit about that. Well, for you, I'm gonna tell you to I'm take the, hey. the, the, el <laughs> the elk antler, the female version. Okay. Uh, it's on, and the male version, fire. What? But the, the female version okay. that you are here, uh -huh. it helps women with fibroids, um, okay. menstrual cramps, uh -huh. mood swings, and also it makes that special place very special again. Okay. We, we, are, we are live on okay. TV, so I can't <laughs> tell you the, the real long shung dung, you know? <laughs> so, but it, it, it's, a, it's a very powerful herb. Um, okay. We have moringa in our vitamins, um, um, garlic, alfalfa root, just a lot of powerful uh -huh. herbs on the earth that a lot of Rastaman has been taking for years. Right. But me and the team has, has come together and uh -huh. created this brand called Jamaican Bride and now the secrets of the Rastaman are now in a bottle. Yeah. You know what? And I, I will definitely speak for a lot of women because a lot of women go through this with the fibroids and oh, yeah. they... Thank you. <laughs> On behalf of all the women. Yeah, man. And even a woman that go through menopause and stuff. And right. it's really some powerful stuff. So let's go to JamaicanPride.com and check it out. Jamaican Pride. Make sure you check it out. Yeah, man. Don't buy one. Buy for your whole family. If you have sisters, mother. <laughs> now you, Mr. Peter. Yes, love. Now, I've been a fan of your voice. Thank you. For many, many years. Thank you. And my sister who's here too. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Thank you. you. On this new album, yes. Strictly Roots, I know you guys have like a collaboration of like a little dance hall infused right. in there. So tell me what made you guys decide to infuse that into... Well, music is ever evolving, you know what I mean? And we as a Roots reggae band, we always want to remain relevant with the, the new generation that's now listening to the music. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And you can't just be caught up in your sound or how it was in your day because you have new listeners coming up every day. There's a new generation born every five right, to 10 years. Right. Uh -huh. So to remain relevant and to be attractive to the young concert goers, to young music buyers, we have to incorporate in the music what is attractive to them. You know, because sometimes they will listen to music and say, that's their parents' music or right, that's their par right. grandparents' music. Right. We want them to say, this is our music. Mm -hmm. So that's a big part of it. And you guys, our Jamaica's pride, you've right? You've and you're my pride too. I must thank say I'm a Morgan Heritage you. fan. Oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much. But let me ask you guys one thing. Now I know that you guys have left Jamaica mm -hmm. and you guys are in Africa, I don't know, permanent or just temporary? Just tem we, we, just, we like to have places around the world. Okay. Soon we'll have a place in St. Croix. We'll have a place in Trinidad. Say it again, say it again, say it again. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a place in St. Christ. St. Christ is a beautiful land. Big yes. up VI, you don't know. <laughs> and and um, 
So Africa is just an, another one of those places that the Rastaman have dreamed to have a home mm -hmm. for many years. We've grown up here about African repatriation, right. mm -hmm. black redemption, mm -hmm. um, self-esteem, and just uplifting Definitely. Africans at home and abroad. Mm -hmm. So it's just another place that we have now found a home that we can now carry what we do best, mm -hmm. music to Africa because there's so much talent. You think talent is in the islands, Listen. Africa is the, is the foundation. And I'm glad you said that because I've traveled to Africa many times for the work well, that I do. Yes. Well. And what I noticed when I'm in Africa, they do listen to a lot of reggae oh, yes. music. Oh, no. You know, we thought when we traveled to Africa, we were going to hear like the African Afro beats. Yeah. No, it was strictly reggae, yeah, 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 not strong. dance hall, no reggae music. Yeah, man, real so team. for me to hear that you guys are actually in Africa, yeah doing what you're doing, bringing the love. And it's not that we left one place to go to the next. Uh -huh. We are still in Jamaica, we are still in America. Okay. Like Grant said, we're just expanding. So now, just the way we are in Jamaica and America, we are now in Africa this way. Definitely. Anywhere we go, we set up to be there permanently. Right. So it's right. just another place we call home. And I know that they're so excited to have you guys there. Oh, yes. Because oh, yes. of course, you know, the legendary Lucky Dube, yes. who passed away yes. from Africa, and now yes. to have Morgan Heritage. Like, I'm so jealous. Okay, but then you said you guys are not there permanently, just temporary. No, no, it's permanent. Uh, no, I said anywhere we go, we are permanent. Okay, okay. So as we are permanent in Jamaica, permanent in America, we are permanent in Africa. You're omnipresent everywhere. There we go. Give thanks to Jay, you know? <laughs> and uh, like I said, I'm so excited. Now I know that you guys are basically yes. promoting talent yes. in Africa. Yes, we are, we are setting up to have an, uh, an extension of our label, CTBC Music Group in Africa, okay. to help to um, expose the talent that's there. Okay. You know, and let the world know that Africa is just as talented as anywhere else in the world. There's that's so much know. talent, there's yes. so much talent in Africa, and the population is so large on the continent that, uh -huh. you know, the music is big there, so we couldn't go to Africa and ignore mm -hmm these facts right. of the continent and we have to make ourselves a part of it definitely so you do you have any final words to your fans and people that love you guys all over the world to all of our fans make sure you stay in tune with us once the vi massive and the whole caribbean massive make sure you follow <laughs> us on social media twitter at margan heritage instagram at margan heritage right. don't forget Check out my new coffee line, Java Man Coffee. Of course, we are in St. John. We're on the island of St. John. What? And we're looking to build a cafe there. So look out. Java Man is coming. And just stay in tune with what's going on. MarganHeritageMusic.com with everything Margan Heritage. And we'll look to sooner soon. VI, stand out. Any final words, Mr. Peter? Just thank you to all the fans for all the love over the years and the support. And, you know, we hope to come down to the VI soon and yes. give another Morgan Heritage concert, you know? I think Looking I'll be there. forward to that. <laughs> and there you have it, you guys. None other than the 2016 Grammy Award winners for the best reggae album of 2016. Carafest TV, I'm your host, Melissa.